Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I just want to play around a bit in Java with the speeds of for loops and streams. And I then just simply have a simple setup where we just test them and then take the time on how long it takes them to run something. And then we compare. And this is probably not the best way of doing it, but I just thought it'd be kind of fun and interesting to actually just do a very simple setup and see if we can actually see a difference. So in this example, I have a simple person class with just an integer of name and age. I then at first, using a random, just create a bunch of people with random ages. And for now, I'll just give them the same name. I'm not going to use the name anyway, just to add some more data. But we then, for each person, give them a random age between 0 and 100. And then in each of our loops, either using a stream or using a for loop, we then go through each of them. And if the age is larger than 25, we then keep them in some kind of result set. And just to quickly showcase how we check the speed of this calculation is we have a start stream using system.currentTime in milliseconds, then end stream, and then we simply just subtract. And divide by thousand to get the time in seconds. So simply just before and after running my stream, I change take the time of the system and I do the same using before and after my loop. And just to quickly go through how it actually works using the stream, we simply do a result stream is equal to our people list dot stream dot filter. So we're doing a different bit differently though between the follow and the stream because we're using the filter property and not just going through for each. So it might not be completely comparable, but I think this is how I would use them separately if I was going to do this. So I use the filter. Then for each person, I simply check if the person has an age less than 25, keep it in a new list. And then in my follow, we're doing more or less the same thing. We just go through each person in our people list. I simply check if the person have an age of above 25, add this person to our result list. And then I can change the amount of people we have in this list to see the difference. So first, let me just simply showcase with a thousand data points. And just to check it actually works the same, I also print to the console the amount of people with an age above 25 just to make sure that they actually work the same because the input is randomized. As we see, let's say we had 710, 742, and so on. And what is interesting, at least to me, is that it seems when doing small amount of data, the stream is a bit slower, which I would assume might be because it takes some kind of extra initialization in the stream where the loop which is going through the data points. But if we go from 1,000 to 10,000, It's actually the very similar picture. Streams still seem to be a bit slow, slower at least. But of course, there's a bunch of things we can change and optimize. In general, I think the main consensus is that streams are actually faster and more optimized. But at least in this trial, it seems like my loop is actually doing better. Let's try and see. However, now we are hitting a million data points and our stream is now actually faster. Just, just to run a few times so just to make sure it wasn't just a random result. So it very much seems like with small data points the loop might be faster but when we actually get into larger amount of data we might have an improvement using streams. Let's try doing a bit more so now I think we're at 10 million. Well again the streams seem a bit faster, but actually not by much. Well, by about maybe 10 or 20%. So that's, I don't know, I think that's kind of interesting that it seems like the loop, the simple for loop is faster with small amounts of data, but our stream might be faster with large amount of data. Well, I think this is very interesting, but of course this is just simply, I just wanted to demonstrate how we can very simply create a setup where we just compare some, in this case, loops and streams. But in general, we would like to, if we do it more probably, we would do a bunch of runs and we would probably add them together to get some kind of average time. We would do different kind of, because now all our data is going to be random, which also might have an effect on the result. But in general, I just thought this was a quite interesting little experiment. So if you enjoyed this quick little showcase of my loops versus streams, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.